Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about subsidies. Subsidies are usually bad, but they are two specific situations when they are great. So let's start talking about what is subsidies. Subsidies is this magic button. Let's say that this company is kind of making little money, so it's not hiring more people, only a few people, because they lack the need. They, no people is demanding paper, or the paper is too cheap, or maybe the input materials are too expensive. This seems to be that the paper is too cheap, so they reach that situation that they don't want to hire more people, because the idea of the company is to make profit, not hire people. But if you press this magic button, you're going to be seeing that the company will kind of start recruiting more employees after a while. As you can see, it's started recruiting people, more and more people. And well, it does not, not lose money because you are paying for it. You are going to be spending a lot of money, now 300 pounds and going up 400 pounds, 500 pounds. So you are going to be spending a lot of money with subsidies. And this is generally a very bad idea because it will have two effects. Effect number one, you are going to be in need to raise your taxes to compensate and that way you are going to be sinking your economy. And also, if you have another paper company anywhere in the country that is maybe working fine, you are going to crash the company that was working fine to so by subsidizing the company that is not working. So that's the bad use of subsidies. So when to use subsidies? There are two situations. For example, transportation. Let's go to transportation. And maybe in Buenos Aires, for example, we have very... It's not making money because the company is only thinking about the cost of the, the, the transportation, the value and the input. So it's not using. But what the company does not see and does not care is the market access. The market access is a concept that is hidden to the company and the company does not really care about the market access. So in Buenos Aires, the market access is 62 and this means that a lot of companies are suffering and the population is suffering because of low market access. That will cause lots of employees to get fired away and the sales is a huge problem for the, the for the province. So by subsidizing Buenos Aires, you're going to be spending a little bit of money in the railways, but you're going to get it back several times because you're going to be getting full employment in several companies. The people is going to rise its standard of living, the population is starting to grow, and you're going to be seeing that in the short term, the income, not maybe in the super short term, but just after a few weeks, you're going to be making a lot more of money. But that's not always the case, so you need to check if you have a really, really a, an amount of companies. So, for example, maybe in a province that you just colonize in Tierra del Fuego, you have too little population, and maybe subsidizing a railway is a very bad idea because you're not going to promote any companies there. And what is the other situation where you need to subsidize? It's a little bit more hidden. You go to the cities and you go down, 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 city centers, Buenos Aires, as you can see now the, <clears throat> the city centers produce services, two types of services, transportation and services. And if you check now with the last patch, you also have the local market, like in service and the market access. So you can see in the market that you have services that they have a local price. So maybe it's a good idea to subsidize also the city centers, for example, in Buenos Aires. Maybe by subsidizing the city center, you produce enough transportation. This is not the city center. Where is the city center? Here it is. Maybe by subsidizing the city center, you have enough, enough transportation and services and you do not need to subsidize the railway. Just a thing to have you have, just have that in mind because those are services and usually the services are the thing that you need to subsidize.
Well, that's all. If I forget something, please let me know in the comment. The corrections are also welcome. Questions are super welcome. And hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.